All right, today we're going to show you how to install the Insane Trout uh, second generation. Uh, as you can see, there's a new look to it. Um, easier to install into any barrel. Um, today we're going to install it into a, a stock uh, A5 barrel. And then we're also going to show you how to install it on the BT uh, Apex. Uh, pretty easy. It has, uh, as you can see, two top uh, rings. The top and the bottom ring. Uh, each ring has four screws in them. Uh, Allen screws. Um, and all you have to do is basically tighten it down into the barrel. As you can see, what I'm going to do right here. And once you have it lined up, make sure it's nice and lined up. You just start uh, screwing in the oven. That's one. That's two. three that's four and then you start with the top ring that's one that's two that's three and then the last one which is nice and tight there you have it, the same trout, generation two, on a A5 stock barrel. Now I'm gonna show you how to install on a Apex um, BT barrel. Move this to the side. We're gonna show you with the same one. Don't screw it as long as you put in, first put it all the way in, put the, the barrel all the way in with the shroud. Don't screw it down yet though. Once you have that, uh, the, the barrel all the way in, you want to line up the shroud. Now this shroud has four uh, screws on each, uh, two on each side, four total. Uh, you want to have the screws looking up, um, doesn't look that great when it's on the bottom. And uh, we're going to do the same thing with it with the other shroud, once you line it up. You start screwing in. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Then you go to the top ones. That's one. Two, three, and then the last one on the bottom, on the top I mean. There you go, nice and tight. And there you have it on the Apex BT barrel.